Have you had jaundice any time in your life? Do you know what was the cause? Are you sure you do not have any virus lurking inside you? Jaundice is a condition in which the whites of your eyes and your skin turn yellow because of a high level of bilirubin. Viral hepatitis is one of the main causes of jaundice. Viral hepatitis is an infection that causes liver inflammation and damage. This is caused by a virus known as the hepatitis virus. Researchers have discovered several different viruses that cause hepatitis. In this video, we are going to talk about the different types of viral hepatitis. First things first, there are five different kinds of viruses that cause hepatitis. Hepatitis A, B, C, D and E viruses. All these five viruses have different features which are unique to them. Hepatitis A virus has a positive single-stranded RNA molecule inside it. Positive sense means is that this RNA can use the host cell's ribosome to make proteins via translation. Hepatitis B virus on the other hand has a partial double-stranded DNA molecule. Hepatitis B virus is the only virus out of all five which contains DNA. Hepatitis C virus also has a positive single-stranded RNA molecule. Hepatitis D virus has a negative sense single-stranded RNA molecule and we call this a circular RNA. Hepatitis E virus is similar to Hepatitis A and Hepatitis C viruses. It also has a positive single-stranded RNA molecule. Right, next we are going to learn if the infection caused by each of these viruses is acute or chronic. An acute infection is described if you can get rid of the virus from the body. Usually, this lasts less than 6 months in duration. If it's greater than 6 months of duration and you're still infected, it's more of a chronic infection. Hepatitis A virus causes an acute infection. Hepatitis B virus, on the other hand, it actually causes an acute infection, but then it can actually stay within the liver cell and continue to cause damage to the liver cell for greater than 6 months. So it's both acute and chronic. Hepatitis C virus can also cause acute and chronic infections both. Hepatitis D virus is mainly a chronic infection. Hepatitis E virus is mainly acute. There are certain situations in patients who are immunocompromised where it can cause chronic infections but it's not that common. Let's take a look at the modes of transmission. Both Hepatitis A and Hepatitis E are transmitted via the fecal oral route. For example, if someone who is infected with Hepatitis A or Hepatitis E defecates into some type of a water source and that water is contaminated and you drink it or you eat from that source, then you can also become infected. In contrast, Hepatitis B, C and D are transmitted through sex, blood and perinatal modes. Perinatal means that the virus can be transmitted from a mother to her baby. Hepatitis D can cause co-infection as Hepatitis D and Hepatitis B both can infect a cell at the same time. The next way Hepatitis D can cause infection is through superinfection. Superinfection is when Hepatitis B virus can infect a cell and then Hepatitis D virus will come and infect it later on. That's it for the types of Hep viruses. Don't forget to check out our next video on the pathophysiology of hepatitis. That is all. Thank you for watching. Show us your support on Patreon. Subscribe for similar content and click that bell icon. Don't forget to check out this playlist and follow us on Facebook, follow us on Instagram to stay tuned. Minutemen, where medicine is made fun.